Yeah, yeah we should we should have time for another. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Hey, what games have I actually done that in? I almost never actually cheat when I have a meta progression. I usually just give up and I'm like, eh, this isn't worth it. <laughs> yeah. Radiano Linkus. Oh. Oh, I'm freaking. Uh, when Binding of Isaac Afterbirth came out, it mucked up my save and mm -hmm. reset mm -hmm. me back to the very beginning. And I'd spent, yep, however freaking long getting all this stuff in Rebirth or yeah. whatever. Yeah, whatever. same thing happened to me. Same and thing. so I was sitting there being like, "Do I want to get it all again?" And I was like, "No." And so I think I, I think I started, and then eventually it was like, "This is the stupidest thing I've like." Resolved myself to doing in ages, and so I just sat there for like a week, and then someone was just like, "Hey, by the way, I got I've unlocked everything," you know, after the the stupid arg and so on and so forth. Yeah. And uh, then I just downloaded the whole save file, and I was like, "Look, I did this all off camera." Shh. <laughs> Secret. Didn't have to bother. I yeah. definitely. I've never actually beat Enter the Gungeon. <laughs> 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 That'd the, be it. The, lore, <laughs> the lore gets deeper, to be honest. A yeah. thousand, a thousand Enter the Gungeon videos. I've never beaten it. It's all edited. <laughs> You've just been sitting there having Grace play, and you're just yeah. man on the mic. Yeah, she's the gamer. Gamester of the household. I uh, literally just, just this past couple months, when I started replaying Anti-Birth again, I just downloaded a 100% Rebirth save file because all my Rebirth files were corrupted. Yep. That was fun. I think it's fun the first time that you like unlock all this stuff and it's super rewarding, and then after that you're just like, this sucks. Yeah. I don't want to do it. Unless you're like really into unlocking stuff and that gratification. Especially with a game like Isaac, because once you've played the game, you can actually cheese it a little bit to only unlock certain things that benefit you. So yeah. like I did, I did a series where I started from scratch, but I did it all modded, and the only rune that I unlocked was the Yara rune. So wow. that every <laughs> rune that I got was the Yara rune, and it like it's it's super busted because it's clearly the best rune. But yeah, yeah. But you can kind of once you know what certain achievements are, you can just stop yourself from getting them. <laughs> I did that in Dead Cells, where I just like yeah. did a run of it eventually, where I was just like, and now I know all the guns that I hate. Yep. So let's uh, let's just or not guns, all the weapons that I hate, all the abilities that I'll never use, and just keep them out of the pool. And it was yeah. fun, but it was also was that just before like, or after custom mode? Uh, well before. Like this is yeah. when it came out early access, because I'd been playing for like two weeks before, and so I yeah. started over for like the early access period, and then just only picked the good stuff. And it was like, yeah. this is fun, but somehow runes it yet further. Yeah. They they added an official way to do that with custom custom runs. And as long as you have a certain amount unlocked, you can still even get achievements and everything. You have to have like 20 items unlocked. So you still like, you can't just have the exact run you want, but it stops that kind of weird cheese of just only unlocking the good stuff. I mean, hell, Instead. even Isaac at this point has with the uh, debug console, as soon as you beat Mom's Heart, you can just type achievement space asterisk and it unlocks the entire game. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, they just that's... don't even bother trying anymore. Like That's nice. Yeah. I appreciate that. As somebody the, de that... the debug console is very broken in Isaac. Oh, I'm sure. But like, as somebody that hasn't played Isaac in, I think, three years, yeah. and, like, whenever... Wait. Is the next Isaac going to be like a standalone or is it another no, expansion? It's an expansion. expansion. Okay, yeah. So I'm I'm probably gonna have to do that in preparation because like I ain't doing that again. The only my favorite thing about video games is no, when they get announced or DLCs get announced three years before they come out. Yep. <laughs> and then you have like a billion people asking you about it. Except I, the thing that I like even more is when they say that it's going to release at a time that isn't the three years from then. So yes. then, when is Repentance you, coming out, Alexa? Uh, you clearly know. You clearly know. Obviously, forty-two is yeah. my new. Sounds answer. about right. Actually, I've been doing recently. Whenever somebody comments on one of my videos, if it is about Repentance, then I'll then I'll answer it truthfully. But if it's a yeah. unrelated video to Repentance, I answer yesterday. You missed it. 
<laughs> Ouch. And I got I, a guy the other day who was like, it, it, was was on timed. Like a, it was on like a demon crawl video. And he was like, yeah. when's repentance coming out? And I was like, yesterday you missed it. And he goes, well, you didn't post a video. And I was like, you know what? You got me. Correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you're now who's the one with the egg all on the right, face? I'll, I'll Edmund repent. handed it all out on a flash drive. Yeah. And if you weren't there, you weren't. If you weren't there, you weren't there. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm like super specking into lightning damage, but don't have a lightning damage gun. So if anybody would like right. to <laughs> give me one when you see one, that'd be I great. will let you know the moment I do. <laughs> I have the singular gun that I found after start. Uh, there's a vault. All right. Oh, sorry. I moved on. That sounded know. really assholey when I said that. Oh, well, That's sorry. Fine. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I got this. Oh, shit. It's rolling rocks again. I'm with you. Is it? Can you, like, shoot the rocks? I just. How, is it? Nope. It seems like there's. It's really hard to tell where it's safe. Oh, thank you for using your face. You got that one blown up. Oh, never mind. They spawn in just immediately. I just wait, wait for, for my shield. uh, my shields to recharge. Yeah. And then just face tank one rock. Yeah, pretty much. As long as you only face tank one, it just doesn't matter. Oh my god. Yeah, they just like show up. I've, my it's... peripheral vision is just a little bit too thin for me to like really dodge these things unless I was staring directly at them. And even then, eh. well, also, they just kind of like pop into existence. Yeah. Where, nice you, where you you're coming. supposed to be. Yeah. Do you, do you guys know about the secret upgrade in that room? No. no. At the very bottom of the second rolly downs, there is another upgrade on the bottom there, but it's like freakishly hard to get to, and I've died like three times trying to get to it. Well then. So, yeah. I just stopped going for it. Like, people yell at me all the time, and they're like, oh, you, you missed an upgrade. And I'm like, no, I purposely chose to miss it. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave that for a much later date when I have a billion shields, and yeah. yeah. It's almost maybe worth it to do it in co-op because you can just get there and then you don't have to come back. Yeah, that's true. More worth, more worth it at least. Yeah, kind of in the uh, repentance situation, I actually had that with Gungeon before it came out. I had a billion people asking me daily, like, "Wonder, are you going to play Gungeon? Wonder, when are you going to play Gungeon? Wonder, when's Gungeon coming out?" And I'm like, "I don't even, I don't even like this, like, the Nuclear Throne formula. Why are you all asking me?" I guess since I was the only other roguelike person other than uh, freaking Northern Line at the time, I guess I was just the guy to Ouch. bug. <laughs> yeah, no, I, mean, I, I got. Beat the game before Rito. Yeah, I've, yeah. What's the uh, what? Uh, what's the final boss? Oh. It's the lick. So then, <laughs> I think it actually got to the point where I had to straight up ban the words like Gungeon. And some other things because it was making me too salty. I should do that. <laughs> I, wonder what, I wonder what that would look. I wonder what that would look like. I, your I'm audience would probably just come up with a code band, word. Brother. Yeah, I mean, I had to do, a lot of the times they just call it gun gun anyway. I had to do the same thing with scrap mechanic because people kept begging for me to come back, and I was like, I just, I don't wanna. I just and uh, so everybody was like trying alternatives like scarp and scrap. <laughs> So I have like. Do you think it was on purpose, or do you uh, think that they just? No, I could think a not. lot of them were just not very, uh, not very proficient. Yeah. I uh, I have to Oops. share because you you guys you guys know I Orbital apologize pretty well at this point. Um, Orbital and I went to continue our uh, scrap mechanic series. And we recorded one episode. We went very far out and then died and lost basically all of our progress over the course of seven hours of the game. Yep. And we just went, all right, that's going to do it for this episode. See you guys later. We got off. Orbital unleashed, unleashed so many swear words. <laughs> I actually can't even <laughs> fathom how, <laughs> how many he said in that time frame and he was like i'm done i can't play this game ever again yep. orville can't. is an absolute <laughs> gem of a man and when I he gets mad it's actually it's scary so when he like when i broke his when i broke the brewery thing in minecraft and he was mad at me i actually thought that he was never gonna talk to me again <laughs> ouch dude that was actually like but then he got over it right away
I, yeah. I will agree with you on the, the scrap survival. It was misery, oh, so unless bad. like you're very lucky it's or so very bad. tolerant. I, I will never play that game survival mode ever again. And that's kind of okay. I'm like, it, maybe if they fix it, but... No, I couldn't even do that. Rito, so you understand just how terrible it is, and for you know people watching on Wander, I suppose people watching on Wander know it. But basically, the main source of food in the game is farming. Except every mm. time you farm, enemies come after you. So yep. if you're not strong enough, so it's atomic crabs. You can't. Yeah, but like worse. Without all of the cool combat upgrades, yeah, you have to like, like no break value. the game to be able to kill most things, and that yeah. just sucks. Uh... So then the way that they don't tell you that you can actually get food to survive is there are random cows around the map and you can force feed them corn to have them poop out milk that you can drink. Yeah, they don't tell you. So like if you go back, if you go back and watch like my first episode as well, uh, it's just like a billion people being like, corn, you idiot. And I'm like, what? I, I'm sorry. Okay. It's it's corn, just corn, it, it's corn the, you it's idiot. The, it's the dumbest. It, it, it's literally like they sat down at a table and went, "Well, what's the worst me uh, survival mechanics that we can put in the game?" And then they took every one of those and put them in the game. I mean, it, they're just abysmal. Yeah, reminds me of that so like, bad. like indie game, the movie when Jonathan Blow take take all of the take all of the in insecurities of being a human and put it in the game. <laughs> but then they're like, put everything that I hate about video games and put it in the game. It's like I I even enjoy grindy survival games. Like yeah. I'm, I'm I, I will sit and do a grindy Minecraft survival any day of the week. I'll you know I'm fine with it. Scrap mechanic yep. was you could have gotten a cheese grater with the amount of grind in that game. Yeah. And it was just it, unfair grind. It, 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 it was just wasn't good. It was yeah. I, I finally unlocked the shop and I was just like, wait, they the seriously shop? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a yeah, there's a there's a shop you can deliver oh. uh packs of ten corn at a time what? to Oh gosh. Do you think you do you think you can get to me or should I revive? Uh, okay. I had to use my self revive. Okay. Well, I got mine now, so I'll use. Gosh. I'll pay it for wow. later. Oh, there's snipers behind us. There's snipers everywhere. There. Snipers look behind out. us. Oh okay. gosh. Sniper, watch out. Sniper, no sniping. That's like I say that like. Every single Atomic Crafts episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah these snipers. Wrong. Wait, where'd this horse yeah. dude come from? Yeah, is this room never ending? Did it is like seemingly so. Challenge event enemy explodes after being defeated. Oh, Subtext oh, note no! they are never defeated. <laughs> 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 it's okay. I got I got ammo now. I can actually do things. Why, why is prisms like ammo the large ammo? It's a it's a throwing knife. What? <laughs> I mean, have you ever tried to put a throwing knife in a gun as a bullet? It just <laughs> does not work. It just doesn't work. Knives. I know, but it's larger than a bullet. Am I wrong or am I right? Hey. <laughs> you got me. Also, y'all, I have 840 money right now. I've got 1,194 and I okay. don't know what to do at all. Well, I'm sorry. I was going to say, next time we reach a uh, a location that involves money, we're just going to all talk well, about what we get so we can possibly pull some of this together and get some stuff. I think... I, I think we've got uh, Lu Wu up ahead, so... Oh, fantastic. Oh. Also, Vault on the upper floor. Yeah. Mm. I still only have... Oh, no, I do have two lightning guns now. <laughs> Never mind. My guns are just ass. Like, they're bad. Got a little weird grenade launchy boil, and then... Just bad. Just bad. Just bad. Not a fan. Maybe 
I don't know, maybe they just need some, like, support. Maybe they just didn't bomb bad all the time. Hmm. I'm sorry, gun. Can you be better? Oh, wait, it's not. <laughs> Parenting tips 101. Don't call them bad all the time. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> How many people uh, wish Ooh. you happy Father's Day yesterday? Uh, I played Carcassonne with my dad, so it's close. I did. Oh. We... My family doesn't really talk to each other about like anything meaningful. We just play video games. I mean, that sounds nice, to be honest. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I'm in that boat. I feel bad though, cause like I was affect. Have you guys played Carcassonne before? I have. Not a fan. I, I, I enjoyed enough for like a once in a blue moon kind of thing, but I just sat yeah, there for the entire cool. session, just leeching off of him and my brother, <laughs> and won like every time. I felt, yeah. felt guilty, and I don't usually feel guilty when I'm, like, winning. And yeah. <laughs> Carcassonne falls under one of those games for me where it's, like, it's too easy to, like, it's too mindless to play. I need a little bit more, more heat to it. You know what game you should, you should try? War. Using a <laughs> deck of cards. You're laughing. I'm. Uh, I've been highly debating picking up Clubhouse Fifty One or whatever. That it's is. really good. I know it's, it's really good. It's so weird. I and that is exactly why I was thinking about yeah. war because that's the that's the one thing on there that's not even worth touching because it's like they do a good job of trying to make you excited about yeah. it with the soundtrack and the sound effects and everything, but it's just it's still war. They did Rito, a great Rito, job, but I'm not gonna go ranked play it online. Rito even though and I can. Just play, uh, play Clubhouse play with one games. Yeah. Fight yeah, me actually, Black Rito Jack. and Alinkus play just war, and that's just the war. I'm gonna die. Oh. Oh my God. He can he throw that at the, the pillar. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He gets blocked by the pillar. He can break I them. Never knew. Yeah. You're rocking a top. prism, right, Wander? Yeah, a okay. uh, level five prism. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, sort of. I'm out of ammo. Um, it's okay. It's There's so much ammo on the ground. I, I mean, I, he just went full on sickle mode on me. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> he yep, did the same yep. thing to me. Uh, uh well, it's been I... real fun, y'all. Hero time! You're dead. I'm dead. I am not a hero. Best of luck. Dang. Yeah, we're gonna need it though. Yeah. If he focuses on me, I think I'm mostly good. I know what his pattern is now. We also need more things to die so I can get ammo. Oh boy. Here's more things to die. Yep. The pots on the side of the screen can give ammo too if you're really needing them. Oh. oh, hello. Yeah, he likes uh, you now. And then he backs up. <laughs> Careful. I mean, <laughs> you know I'm trying. <laughs> uh, <ooh. laughs> the, the way he just so, like, erratically decides to run back to the mountain is hilarious to me. Like, you just, as soon as he gets to that health point, he's just like, I am very out of here. <laughs> I want nothing to do with this business. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm here, pay attention to me. Please, yes. God, I just feel like my stuff's not as good as it was last two runs. I really yeah. feel like I'm oh, wet noodle felt. gunning. Yeah. Easy trick, by the way, is he really gets skunked by those por uh, those pillars. So if you want to do a lot of uh, a lot of hurt with a fair bit of safety, just ring around the pillar with him. I think he can break them, but 
<laughs> he can. If he hits him too many times. Oh, no! come on. Well, I'm back up. Oh, you're back up? Okay, good. Yeah. Yes! What? How do you... What? I don't know how you dodge that one. That punch, that move, yeah. I don't get it. Every yeah. other attack he has, I totally get it. That yeah. one, I don't get it at all. Because it seems like dashing doesn't help, and if dashing doesn't help, I don't know what other tool yeah. exists. Oh, wander, carry. Try it. Ten thousand. As long left. as none of those little bomb jerks sneak up on me, I'm good. Yeah. Don't yeah, Alexa this and die with him having a thousand health. Uh, well, he's up a thousand. Oh. We're good. Oh. Hooray! Never give up. Wow, it doesn't revive us in the room with the loot? Nope. Wow. <laughs> that's a pile You'll be of revived in the next scene, it says. Oh, man. That, that sucks. Dude, Rito and I are about to be worthless in this next one. I already it's am. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's okay. Next stage is ass and <laughs> it's fine. It's one, of, it's one of those like DPS checks where it's like, have you grinded enough on the meta progression? Nope. All right, you suck. <laughs> yeah. Makes oh, me probably wonder, like, actually... how much of a pushover the first level is going to be with meta progression. Then, that's what uh, I think. Yeah. It, it it seems like it might be like, if, if if this one's this hard, they have that much more HP and everything. I don't yeah. Know. Also, have twenty two bolts. Man, having a level five gun for this really does make a market difference until I start trying to hit a rogue arsonist at which point it's pointless I'm not gonna waste my ammo on these guys oh that's the craft oh, that's Yep, I was shooting this dude. <laughs> I just saw you like blasting the shit out of the guy, and I'm like, well, got I guess him. I'll follow suit. Wait a second. <laughs> if there's a shopkeeper in a game, you know I gotta try to shoot it. <laughs> it Has that did ever screwed butt? you over in Gungeon? Uh, I, well, <laughs> I mean, no, because after a certain amount of time, he just teleports you out. <laughs> but. <laughs> Like you can you can fancy feet dodge his stuff for a long time and then he just teleports you out. And it's it's not too bad. Uh it it one step from Eden, it is an absolute death sentence. <laughs> I yeah, I tried that once in the like demo prior to release, and I was like, this sucks. I don't want to do this again. But yeah. I think that's kind of my experience with that game where it's like, man, this is such a really this is such a cool game. I wish I wasn't terrible. I was gonna it's, say that sucks. I don't want to do that again. It's kind of how I felt after playing one stuff from Eden, but it's a good awesome. game, man. It's hard to record. Yeah, it, it is. It or it was. <laughs> I, I I did a I did a bunch of it. I feel like I did a pretty good job, but you only did a after very doing a very, but after doing a very bad job on like a first attempt, and and it is the reason why I cancel it because I had to take like. I had to take like two days off of recording it, and then I came back, and I was like, "How did I ever do this?" Yeah. Yep. And I just, I just couldn't get, I couldn't get oh. back in the flow of it. Do you, do you record like all of your stuff daily? Yeah. Yeah, I do it. See, I, I record all of my things in like massive batches, so I might play like two weeks worth of Monster Train in like a day. Yeah. Every everything that oops everything that comes out on my channel is recorded the day before. It's uh it's it's fun it's it's great in the way that like I can well interact like I can take in the information from comments really quickly. It's terrible in the sense that like if literally anything happens, my next day is toast. Yeah. Yeah, I I used to do that, but it was murder on my schedule. I was just like, eh, mental health. Let's just go with massive batch recording and not give a shit yeah when did you die alexa hey, uh he died going. in the middle of that yeah. that mess uh, and i was like i'm gonna pick him up and then i got sniped and had to hide behind a rock and it's like well yeah. it's okay we're doomed soon anyway so yeah. the longer we we prolong this 
Uh, I figure if y'all find Kermit the Frog, then I'll be back. Otherwise, it's okay. Yeah. Other, oh, otherwise, I just get insta snipe for 119 yeah. damage. Uh, the problem is the friggin' burn, dude. The burn oh. they put on you is insanely hard. To I, I don't even experience the burn. I'm just dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. At that And that right there is the only issue I have with this game, which is the second floor is just it's just bad. It's just bad. Well, it's I mean, I think it's that it's untuned correctly. I, I yeah. think if we were to invest a bunch of points into the damage resistance perk, it probably wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, it's just such a big jump to go from the boss that like we can we, we were beating. It was like we, obviously we had some deaths, but like. I, to the snipers that do more damage than the boss? Yeah. It's a little... I don't know. Yeah. It hurt. It oh. hurt in the heart. There's a level but. 60 perk. You will not die when providing aid to teammates. HP will only drop to one. Yeah, that That's sounds great. Ridiculously good. Uh, wow. Yeah, uh, same thing with Dimension Pouch. A after spending Soul Essence, instead of losing it all, you get to keep up to, like, X amount. It'd yeah. be really nice if... It'd be nice if you just don't lose the soul currency for yeah, how grindy yeah, this game is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I, it's fun though. Like, yeah, it's a it's a good time. It just seems like it could be a better time. Yeah, yep. I agree. That's with that. that's it. Uh, I feel like we probably don't have time for another one. You gotta go, like, right, Alexa? Yeah, I gotta bolt. All right. Why well, well, have been a fun. great time? Yeah. Hey, unlocked prism. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah. We should do it again. Oh, yeah. uh, let's see. Yeah.